Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. I didn't think the show was done, but I thought it would be a while before it would come back. Yeah. Dr. Dell was like, yeah, winter, uh, we get Promise Neverland Season 2. And I was like, uh, Promise, Land, Promise Neverland Season 2 already well, started, apparently. For the, Jap- for the Japanese anime release schedule, winter is January. Yeah. Like, winter is literally the start of the year. Like, that's what a lot Which of makes people... makes sense, because that's when it actually gets fucking cold. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, yeah, just like right now. Here it does. We are, like, right now, we're almost at the winter solstice, and... Or, I mean, I'm... So- I'm on drugs. I'm assuming in Japan, too, because I heard that they had a huge blizzard recently that was very dangerous because it was, like, unprecedented for them. Oh, yeah. And right now, it's, well, winter is, you know, winter's definitely here, and uh, it's only getting colder. I don't like it. Eh, I'm all right the with it. The cold causes me physical pain. Now, the cold doesn't cause me pain. It just causes me, uh, it just causes me irritation because... I, I need to go places, and I can't. It's like, I really like the meme that someone made like a year or two ago. That's <laughs> like, I, it's like, the air hurts my face. Why do I live where the air hurts my face? Because life is pain sometimes. I guess so. Well, as much as I want, okay, as much as I want to not be fat, guess what? Ain't much I can do about it because my metabolism sucks. Life's not fair. <laughs> as much as I want it to be, it's not. Also, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, you are watching a version that does not include any footage, but the version that does include footage is literally right down there in the description, and it'll be the first link that you see yeah. in the comment section. We aren't testing this with footage on YouTube because the first episode last time immediately got a copyright strike. So. Yeah, a strike. Not a claim. A strike. Yeah. So, I ain't having that shit again. I'm sorry, guys, but you're just going to have to deal with that for now. I, everyone else who reacts to this show pretty much has to do the exact same thing. I know Blind Wave had to do it when they reacted to the first season, which, the, strangely enough, they started reacting to it like a week after us. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, you sons of... Actually, I love you guys. You, you guys are cool. <laughs> but <laughs> Copycats? No, I'm just kidding. I, I, Copycats. Uh, I would recommend this show to anybody. Oh, I would too. Watched it. I would too. I mean, if you want to watch Blind Way, watch it. I mean, I saw yeah. like their reaction to like the first, like the first episode, and yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure you realize this by the way, but like uh, I'm excited anyways. Like, but uh, obviously, this show's probably going to have a different vibe from this point on than the first season. Well, so. of course, because the first season, look at what happened. Like, yeah, well, was pretty much like, like very high tension. Like from the in, from the middle of the first episode on, it's like a, a war of minds. Essentially, is like what was going on in the first season. Kind of, yes. And obviously, like it's not going to play out quite that way this time around because they've escaped, and so it's going to be more of a survival horror type deal now. Well, um, survival horror, and plus the fear of the unknown, because right now they're in a completely yeah, yeah. unknown environment. the The only thing they have is like for experiences like the forest that they knew from birth or from pretty much from birth mm. and now they're in a completely just unknown environment bone who's read it says that it's still good he just feels like a lot of people are going to be disappointed because it's not quite the same and i'm just like i i fully understand why though i see where the story's going you know? yeah i do too like and uh i don't know i'm just i'm stoked to see how it all plays out you know like, same. i really like the first season and even though it's not going to be another like war of the minds type deal like i'm like it's a story that i'm definitely invested in i'm wanting to see where it goes yeah season two is here and i'm excited this is promised neverland season two episode one here we go (laughs) come on (laughs) damn it damn it God. Yeah, dude, like, uh, this this is going to be an awesome show overall, I feel like. I think so, too. I feel like anybody who gets disappointed with the second season just, you know, like, you need to open your mind a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm very, like, still invested. I'm still very stoked about this show. Yeah. I... Mm. <laughs> Cliffhanger suck, though. <laughs> you ain't kidding. We... Queen and I are on that too with uh, Lucifer. 
like episode six of Lucifer, like all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, I, I, I can't see the res. Crap, it's the end of the episode. Damn it! I should have brought my eye drops down here with me. Sorry, dude. It's all good. <sighs> you're just watering and itching and burning. Yeah, mine's watering up Pardon a bit me. too. But Jesus, dude, this just. <clears throat> it's a cock slap right to the face. Just, <laughs> like, I, like, don't get me wrong. Cliffhangers, I think, if executed properly, are awesome. They're amazing. This, this, I, I feel like we were given so many things, and I'm, I have way more questions than than anything. Just you know about the demons. It's like, are they like pacifists? Are they more I think, friendly? I, I don't know. Well. Here's the thing is I, I believe I remember a line um, maybe from Sister Crone. I can't remember who said it for sure. It was either Sister Crone or uh, the mother. And uh, at some point they mentioned the demons to them and they were like, so that's what you call them? And that kind of makes it seem like that's not what they're referred to outside of, you know, just the well, kids. Uh, well, yeah. Right there. Like that's, that's what they assumed they were, you know, but that may not be exactly what they actually are. And uh, I feel like that might be the thing, too, because he was saying it over and over. And he's like, oh, you're demons, you're demons, you're demons. And I think that's going to be the beginning of the next episode is like, we're not demons. Like, and then it's going to be an explanation as to actually what they are. And, I hope so, because I mean, I'm curious as to the what they one are. one girl kind of seems like there's a possibility she might be some kind of hybrid. So maybe whatever they are can breed with humans. Like Maybe either that or experiment. Because they seem to be like, well, they're high on experimenting on humans, but they also may be experimenting on themselves to produce uh, different types, like ones that are more, more apt. To, for instance, the ones we saw, we saw... Uh, Several that were quadrupedal and one that was bipedal. The one that was bipedal was the leader, and the one that, the ones that were quadrupedal seemed to be like the hounds. And so the ones that were quadrupeds are like almost didn't even look like they had mouths. Well, they like, did. They. Well, they, I guess they did because I guess it did have its mouth open whenever we first saw it, didn't it? it was yes. Like, oh, and it had a bunch of teeth. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then of course uh, um, the one the one that was standing didn't have one because it was completely covered by the mask from the yeah, looks of it. Like so, I'm assuming they all eat. You know, humans. Well, yeah. And, you would uh, assume. Maybe it could have been a thing where um, they were doing experiments on themselves to see if they could make something that they could eat, like that was more either, easy to recreate well, than humans. You know, like either they could that make humans or out of genetic themselves. modification for intelligence, because that's another thing too. Like if we could just eugenics, make food ourselves somehow, well, like then also we wouldn't have to breed eugenics, these humans dude, that's, together. That's the other thing too: is eugenics amongst these kinds of monsters. I would not be surprised. You know, yeah. they're wanting to breed the alphas to try and create something even better, even some something even like more intelligent than the yeah. ones that have come before. So, like so, like how they used to do eugenics here, like amongst humans, and what they discovered was, you know, the gene the human genetic code is far too like dense for that to happen through. Uh, through forced through forced evolution, forced evolutionary purposes, said so it has to happen naturally. With them, I think maybe this girl that we're encountering, the one that saved the kids, uh, is an evolution that is more apathetic towards humans. Maybe, maybe I because that's the, that's the thing. It's it, there's so many possibilities. I feel like it's going to go one of two ways with this too. It's either um, they are actually trying to help them and they're actually friendly. Like demons, like you know, because I'm thinking that's probably not what they what their true name is. No, I don't think so um, either. Or they are capturing them to an extent, like they have them in a place where they don't think they can get out of, and they're basically planning to do the same thing that um they do with them on the farm, which is like, hey, we got you little morsels that escaped, and we're gonna wait for you to get to the point where your brains are tasty, and then we're gonna eat you. Yum, <laughs> yummy. We are going to eat your brains. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. There's so many possibilities, so many things that could happen. So many things that... It, the, the, I kind of feel like it's going to be one of those cases where they think, like, you know, we're meant to think that, like, oh, crap, they're in trouble now because they're demons, but I think it's going to be an explanation next episode. My guess is an explanation of what they actually are, or at least somewhat, and then... Uh, probably a revelation that like they're not all evil and don't all eat 
humans, you know? Yeah. I mean, God, there's, there's, uh, I, I want to watch the next episode, but yeah, I know it's, it, we're going to wait to do that. But for right now, yeah, this, this just. Because it could very easily be a situation mm. where they just snatch them from the farm demons, you know, to just take them for themselves. But I don't know. I just don't. I don't think that that's going to happen. I'm not feeling that. Like, I'm not uh, either. Like, for sure. If if they want to. If that to... is what it is, it's cool. But, like, I mean, yeah. like with me either way, if it goes either way. But I just, like, you know, I'm leaning more towards I feel like it's probably not the case. Yeah, same. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this one. This was Promised Neverland Season 2, Episode 1. What a friggin' tease. But you know what? I'm all right with it for now. I am I am all right with it for now. I just I just wish I just wish that we could have gotten something more concrete. I don't know. Yeah. But all yeah, right. I'm definitely super hyped for the show. Oh still. shit, yeah, dude. Still, still super hyped. I so, I have a feeling this is going to probably end up being one of my favorite shows of all time up next to Cowboy Bebop and uh Elf and Lead. Well, we'll see. I mean, one given the anime, anyway. given the pace that this show's going, I mean, I Who knows where the story's going to go? For thinking Elf and Lee is one of my favorites of all times, but y'all can no, suck it. No, <laughs> I mean, honestly, well, dude, there's plenty of shows out there I consider good. I just people, like what I like, and I definitely trash. give respect to a show that actually made me cry for the first time, because nothing ever made me cry before that. What? The, uh, this? Elf, or Elf, Elf and Lee? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, did you cry during this? I couldn't remember. No, no, no. <laughs> Elf and Lee. Not yet, At the, yet, at the anyway. very end of it, like, I cried, and I was just like, that's so sad. Yeah. Uh, so, all Apparently, right. Apparently, that wasn't even all of it. I still need to read the manga and see where it goes after that. Oh, yeah. They never they never did do another series. Yeah, they it. never finished it. Ugh. The manga kept going. Well, all right, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. This was season two, episode one. Can't wait for this season. Uh, this, this I'm, I'm glad it's here. So, I hope y'all are yeah. excited, too. So, uh, until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.